Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome. I am just another Pokey Dad, and if you know where I stole my intro from, you're my kind of geek. And I say geek lovingly. Today I am uh, going to do something. I've never really done this before, but uh, I've been running this combination in several decks. I think it works really well, and I'd like to plead my case for it. Um, so, everybody uses Tapa Lele. Uh, and, okay, not everybody, but most everybody. Every deck runs Tapa Lele. Every deck runs two, three, four copies of Tapa Lele. Uh, and if you don't, I understand it's a, it's an expensive card. Not everybody has it. You don't have to play Pokemon with it, but in the competitive realm, you're going to use this in your deck. And maybe you only have one in this, if that's the case, what I'm gonna gonna lay out makes a lot of sense, I I hope and um, and so I've been working this in every deck I run Tapa Lele right now, and it works for me and and I think it's something people are missing out on and I'd like to expand on it. So you have Tapa Lele. Um, you're using Tapa Lele for Wonder Tag, uh, and that ability. Let's see if I can find a good focus there where you can read it. Um, well, you all know what Wonder Tag does, but you search your deck for a supporter and put it in your hand. So you, you, you get Tapa Lele to your bench. You search your deck for a supporter. Now, a lot of times you're running for a Guzma or you're looking for your Sycamore or your N, um, and that's well and good. Now what happens? Tapa Lele is a dead card on most benches at that point. Most people aren't using it for its energy drive attack. Yeah, it can help out a little bit. You throw a double colorless on. You might hit someone for 60 or 80 or whatever. Um, Tapa Cure, you can cure your bench, uh, a couple people on your bench. Uh, it's okay, but you got to be running Psychic Energy. So let's just say... In the majority of decks, Tapa Lele becomes a dead card on your bench. And it's a target because it only has 170 HP. That's not that difficult to hit anymore. So it gives up two prizes. Someone Guzmas it up, knocks it out, two prizes. And there's no reason for that to happen. Um, and the reason I say that is because there's this card... Ninja Boy. And Ninja Boy, I think, people think of it only because of the Ninja Box decks um, where they were trying to swap things out to prevent damage, uh, you know, Jolteon, Glaceon. I mean, I run a Marshadow Box deck that uses Ninja Boy, and that's where I came up with this concept a little bit. Um, so let's just take an example. The, well, well, here's what, what, what the idea is. So you play your Tapa Lele. Let's say you, you played it so you could grab your Guzma. You've used your Guzma now. Um, now Tapa Lele is a dead card on your bench. Okay, you have a couple options. You draw into Ninja Boy. Or you'll use your second spot Lele. Now... What happens? You now you've got two spots on your bench with Lele to you know because you wanted to, your first turn you bridge it in, you know your first turn you Lele it and you bridge it in, and now you needed to get something else out, you know. Um, so you're you're going to use your Lele again. Well, you're you're losing spots on your bench, um, and yes, you can put. A rainbow energy on an Ace Arola back to your hand, or you can do stuff like that. But this is a solution is a little more elegant, I think. Um, Ninja Boy. So you grab a Ninja Boy. Let's say you you use two Leles to do it. So you're gonna Lele, you're gonna Ninja Boy, one of them into something else. Let's just say Azora, just because that's what I've got handy here. So now, 
Lele is back in your deck. So you've got it for later to grab that Guzma or to grab that Sycamore. You're recycling the Lele and you're getting something you really need onto your bench. Okay? So there's that. Um, I, the way I've been using it has been, you know, a first turn Lele for Bridget. And then you're filling, you know, you fill your bench, you know, you got three out on your bench and you've got active here or whatever, you know, and now I've got one more spot. So I Lele, I grab that Ninja Boy and suddenly now I can put out a Rangaroo. Or, you know, I mean, whatever you need, you you can grab, you fill your bench with what you need, you draw into a second Ninja Boy, and suddenly the, your bench is exactly what you want it to be, the whole game. Then if you lose one, you could lose a single prize card thing. You have spot for a Lele to go down for the Guzma or the N or the Sycamore. Um, that's the other thing is you can Lele into a, a single prize card card that you think uh, if it's going to get knocked out, then you're not hurting as much prize wise. Um, but this strategy for me has been working out really well because one uh, it puts Lele back in my deck. So one, I, I get another draw. It's a cantrip card, really, because you're you're not losing anything and you're gaining a draw. Um, and I really I really like the 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 synergy it gives because I get what I want on my bench. I can use it for in place of an ultra ball. I play a Lele, I play a Ninja Boy, I got what I need on my, the basic I need on my bench. Uh, so it's a nest ball, really, but uh, but an ultra ball, because I can, I can pick um, whichever one. Um, there's so many ways to work this. Uh, but, but again, not so much just Ninja Boying something into something specifically Ninja Boying Lele into something. It gives you essentially another Lele in your deck and frees up your bench spot. I really, really, really have, have fallen for this move. Um, and I've been playing it in several decks, and it's worked in every deck that I put it in. Um, so I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of just making the case for it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, yes, you're losing, let's say two spots cause you want two Ninja Boys. Probably you're losing two spots in your deck, but you're also gaining those two spots by essentially having two more Lele's. If you move them back into your deck, you've got the Lele's at your disposal for later again. Um, I like the, the recycle aspect of it. I like being able to have the Lele's off my bench. You get, you use them, you get rid of them and it gives you what you need on your bench. I need to get out Zorok. So I need a Zora out. Um, there are going to be a lot of other, you know, there's great basics. There's, <coughs> excuse me, golly. Um, there are great basics out. Um, you know, again, I said this came about because of Marshadow for me. And, uh, you know, so you can Ninja Boy into a Marshadow. You can Ninja Boy into Buzzwall. You can Ninja Boy into so many things. Um, it, it just fits in so many decks. So that's me making the case for Lele Ninja Boy. Thank you for watching. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, something in my throat. A frog in my throat, I think. 
if please like and comment. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, I mean, I'm already pretty sold on it, but uh, I would love to hear what you have to say. And uh, please remember to be nice. This is a family-friendly channel. Um, so if you think I'm a fool, you can say I'm a fool. Just don't say I'm a bleeping fool. Awesome. Thanks. Um, and also, subscribe, like, comment on my video. Tell me what you'd like to see. More videos like this, more duels, more deck profiles, more box openings. Um, just let me know what you're looking for and what I can provide, and I will take that into consideration. Um, and uh, it, check out my Zorok GX box giveaway. This video will be eligible for that giveaway. So like, comment, and subscribe, and you could be entered. You will be entered uh, if I reach a hundred subscribers to win the uh, Zorok GX box. Um, but this video was Tapalele Ninja Boy, me pleading the case. Thank you for watching. Remember to be kind, be nice, and be happy. Thank you.